leave our family alone. Matthew Marr and his parents tried to dodge our camera as they left the courthouse out on bond. Some are furious. I don't understand why he's allowed to go home free. The development came after the fence told the court that Marr is Jewish. His grandfather survived the Holocaust and he's living on the Upper West Side. The tenants in the building are shaking. The community is worried. Wednesday, Marr and another man who's still in custody, Christopher Brown, appeared before a judge. Prosecutors say in mid-November, Brown sent out an alarming tweet saying that he was willing to shoot up a synagogue and die. And the next day, he and Marr and a third person went to Pennsylvania and bought a gun and then returned to Manhattan. D.A. Bragg told us why he wants Marr behind bars. A tragedy was averted uh, through the coordinated efforts of local, state and federal law enforcement. Brown and Marr were arrested on November 18th in Penn Station. Two NYPD officers credited with spotting them, honored at City Hall. Leaders say when they found the duo, they had a gun, ammunition, and an eight-inch knife. For now, the defense is not commenting on camera. This is happening as reports of anti-Semitism spike in the city. According to the NYPD, it's up 125 percent in the month of November and nearly 53 percent year to date. Stats that fuel concerns by Mars neighbors. People are really scared, literally scared. The feds are involved in this case, too. They arrested that unnamed individual on the gun charge. That person remains in custody. While Marr is out, at least until his February court date. We're coordinating with our, our federal law enforcement partners, uh, and we're going to all be vigilant on this matter. Erica Byfield, News 4, New York. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.